We're outside Leighton Vans HQ in Sheffield and I've got the ball at my bash this weekend and I'm about to pick up my house for the weekend. I am so excited about this. Let's go and have a look, see what we're going to be living in this weekend. <laughs> We've just arrived, it's about half eight in the morning. Uh, gonna pitch the tent and then have some food. Everyone's all pitched up and ready to go. Where on his way for his number board. You can see bikes all over the place, so try not to get run over. It's quite chilly, not that great weather wise, but at least it's dry. Camp is all pitched up. I'll show you a bit more of that as well when we get in there. So let's go and get his number board and crack on. So and even if the sky was falling down, you never noticed anyone around. I don't wanna be the one to say, oh, I told you so. But I told you so. Number board is on the bike, it's all set up, ready to go. I'm gonna make some porridge. It's just started raining as well today, so if. I was in a tent, I would be making porridge on a horrible little gas stove outside in the rain. Now, I'm not, thanks to Leighton Vans, so I'm making porridge inside in an awesome camper van with a stove. I have everything I need. Porridge is cooked, Nutella's going in, I've got everything in the fridge. Obviously I won't be able to do that in a tent. We are living the dream. So we've got this table as well. It slides out like that. Perfect. To get it level, you've got this little button here which slides that out. Get that out of the way. There we go. Time for breakfast. So I'm going to get changed. One good thing about having a camper van is these. You can slide them down so the uh, two gentlemen parked next to me can't uh, see my bits and pieces don't want that and there's one at the front the windows they slide down and black out and then obviously there's one here as well that comes down and the window at the back that's got a slider on it there's no one really behind us so I'm not going to put that one down so yeah you can shut it all out nice and dark for when you're sleeping and no one can see your uh, your adult parts which is always a good thing no one wants to see adult parts so it is we've just eaten some porridge in a very very nice comfy place this little van I'm just about to go out for a practice lap so let's go and see what the course is like my first climb of the day we're on a bit of a tarmac path I'm just following these guys, I uh, I hope they know where they're going. Three miles in. Stage one done, nice and long, nice and flowy, all natural, quite fast, enjoyed that.
Oh, well, stage two is lovely. Nice and loamy. So we're just on the way up stage number four. This is the last stage on practice. Stage five is blind, so we'll see what that's like tomorrow. Stage number four. Let's see what you've got for us. Oh, a pedal. Wide open section. Men. That's awesome. Practice done, there are five stages, but stage five everyone has to ride blind. So now we're going back to the village. So how is the course then? Well it's riding unbelievably well. It's very low mate, nice switchbacks, a few little man-made jumps and some really greasy corners making it a real laugh to ride. Exactly what I like to ride, exactly what I like to see in an enduro race and it's a little bit like what I ride at home in Warncliffe. So yeah, it, it's mint, I'm loving it. Buzzing. So I've just been uh, helping Matt put his tent up. Nicely done, perfect. He's kindly volunteered to give me a hand putting mine up, so it's quite a strenuous job, this. <laughs> You've got to sort of reach in. Slide that all the way back, pop up roof, open, hold it. Quite stressful on your shoulders. There we go. Obviously, it's a two-man job. Into the swing of things now. Got a bit of bit of Lloyd Grossman on the stove, cooking away. Matt is uh, currently working on his uh, on his bike, so both his brakes work tomorrow. Also, it can do that if it rains under the awning. Well, his bike can. He's too tall to fit under the awning, but. <laughs> His bike can be dry in the awning if it rains. And uh, yeah, we're just cracking on. We've been up, we had a couple of beers and uh, enjoying the festival. That's going down quite well. There's people jumping over each other on a little ramp. So we're gonna go and wait for them to get a bit more drunk and, and check it out again. And uh, music starts at seven. So just gonna have a bit of food and. Won't you sing out your oh. frustration? <laughs> It's all kicking off now. We've got people trying to jump over the mates. We've got kids sending it over that little ramp over there. Oh, 
getting busy, the band's warming up. Happy days. sleep. It's time to get up and get ready to race. Let's get the bikes out. Let's get coffee on. Most important thing. Happy days. <laughs> Dusty. That's it, that's the end of the Baltby Bash. 20 miles, two hours 34, quite happy with that time. Obviously made possible by how fresh I felt by sleeping in this van. So uh, we're just gonna get some food, have a look at the timing and uh, get off home. It's a gorgeous day. Weather's, uh, weather's come out really nice. Um, it's a good event, nice and low me. Some big climbs in there thrown in just to get the legs burning. Either the sportive or the enduro. Uh, whether you like XC or, or Enduro Racing, come and check it out. Baltby Bash 2019. It's been phenomenal. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the van. I've got to go and give this back now, so this is the sad part of the, of the edit, but uh, all good things must come to an end. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.